Hi guys, welcome to another episode of our Dark Series. And in this particular video is a completion to the previous videos we made on creating the tables. So we made one on creating the tables. And there's a second one on how to create the tables using generate function and row function in DAX. And the last step here is to show you how you can create um, relationships between the data table that you just created and the fact table or other data sets you have on your in Power BI. And then the idea the idea for doing this is simply in most cases, so in our case here we have just one table, just one data set here, as Nigerian Connabra data set. But in many cases, I'm sure in your case most times you'd have more than one um, table. And then sometimes they might each come with their own bit property. So it's just best to have one single source of um, information when it comes to the dates. So when you create a date table, then you create relationships between the table and all these other tables. So whenever you need to use the date in your reports, you reference the date table you created. Okay, so first off, I'll show you um, um, something that the date table does by right? itself. So, but then to show that first, I'll want to create a visual just showing you uh, um, how our reports would look like. Would look like. If you just use the date table we have, the dates we use, we have this column we have in our Nigerian coronavirus data set. Let me create a, a column, cluster column chart here. Okay, so I'm going to drag it from the deep column axis to the axis. Now I'm going to drag in confirmed cases to values. And then you can see it shows just one singular value for the year 2020. But then to see um, or to view um, more granular information, you can drill down here. So first of all, you can drill, so you can see the um, sequence. It's an hierarchy here. So you have the year, quarter, month, and day. So I can drill down to show um, values or spread the values across different quarters. So you can see you have two quarters, quarter one. Mm -hmm. Is value and quarter two is value here. You can also drill down further to see this and spread by month. And you can drill down again. You can see it's February, March, April, May, and it's been increasing like that. And then watch what happens when you drill down to um, the day as on daily level. So you witness that it, you're seeing values for just one month, I think. Honestly, I don't understand what this, what this means currently. You are seeing day one, day two, day three. But in that case, so in my own case now, I want our report to show daily confirmed cases of COVID-19 as opposed to just every month. So I want to show you from February 27, that was the first day was confirmed, 28, 29, 30, and it's progression just like that. So to do this, I'm going to um, move this one first. We need to create a relationship between <coughs> These two tables here, the Nigeria coronavirus data sets and the table we just created. So you can come here to so here is the report pane, the data pane, and the models. So under models, you come here, you can see the tables we have in our reports in our Power BI so far. There's this data set that we uploaded and in the data table that we created. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to link the date column here to the date column on the date table. And then I expect that these two tables are going to form a one to many relationship table. Yeah, and then in our case, what this means in our case is I'll quickly explain what this means here. So if you see for um for um in our data set here, the way the data has been arranged, so you have um for a particular day, that's February twenty seventh, ordinarily you have data for every single state. That's the six states per the FCT in Nigeria. So for February twenty seventh you have data for Abia, um, Anambra, Delta, Lagos, like so basically there's multiple um, values for one day for all the states. Basically now. But then for our data table here, what we have here, what we have in our data here is just a continuous just a continuous um, sequence of days. So you have February 27th, 28th, 29th, March 1st, March 2nd, March 3rd, 
money now um did us say this we have much to gain that six times per FCT for each state. What this means is that whilst we have just one value for March third year on our date table, we have at least 37 on our Nigerian coronavirus data set. And then what this means is when you relate these two tables together on date column, we'll have one from this side to many on the Nigerian coronavirus data set. And you can see this here when I do it. So I'm going to say link the date here, date. And you can see that it forms a, and in this star represents many, and this one here represents one. You can see it's a one to many relationship, and it's unidirectional. So the date table can filter the coronavirus table, but then the coronavirus table cannot filter the date table because the arrow goes in just one direction. It's facing the coronavirus in the table. And then typically, for in most um, of your model creation, you'd want to have um, and want many relationships between your tables advisable. Okay, so yeah, let me show you what this does now that we have them related. I can create the same clustered column chart. I mean this time for my axis, I'm going to pick the dates from the dates that were created. That's this one here. This does my axis and then I'm going to put them confirm cases from our data here two values and you can see the difference that this makes here first off you have no hierarchy or no automatic hierarchy showing here and you can see values for every single day since the first case was announced 